Neo4j, an ACID-compliant graph database that can handle the extremely complex relational data of the modern world. It was created in 2007 by Emil Ifram, is written in Java, and pioneered the property graph model. Traditional relational databases use a tabular model, but joining normalized tables together is not how real humans think about relationships. Naturally, we think about connections between entities, like Bob asked a question on Stack Overflow, then Alice and Chad downvoted it, so Bob gave up on his dream of programming. A graph can model this data the same way you might visualize it on a whiteboard. Nodes represent entities, edges represent relationships between entities, and properties are key value pairs that store data on these objects. Under the hood, Neo4j is a true native graph database that applies this model all the way down to the storage level. Queries are written in a declarative language called Cypher that resembles SQL, except nodes are surrounded by parentheses, then connect to other nodes with arrows via relationships in brackets. Today, Neo4j is used in applications like recommendation engines, social media platforms, and and knowledge graphs for artificial intelligence, just to name a few. To get started, it can be self-hosted with Docker, but the easiest approach is to sign up for Aura, which provides a free, fully managed database in the cloud. From there, we can build the next Twitter by making queries with Cypher. Use create, followed by parentheses, to create a new entity or node. This node has a label of user that can be used to group similar nodes together. Inside the braces, we can add key value pairs to represent the data on that node. Now, a user might want to follow another user, which can be represented with a relationship relationship inside of brackets. Then notice how the arrow points to another node with a label of user, and that's all it takes to create relational data. No foreign keys or join tables required, although we can add constraints to the schema, such as the one here that will ensure every username is unique. In addition, we can define local variables in this query, then return them from the statement to get the data back as the result. And what's especially awesome is that we can visualize it as an interactive graph or even as a table. Now to continue building Twitter, we can connect multiple tweet nodes to a user. We also need a query that will return all the tweets from all the users that are being followed. This can be easily represented with nodes and relationships, but we can also filter this query with a WHERE clause to only return tweets that were posted recently. In addition, we can match on string patterns and regular expressions, or filter on complex patterns based on the graph itself, like only return tweets from users that have not been muted. So not only is it intuitive for developers, but it also allows patterns in your data to emerge naturally, which is a huge advantage when it comes to data analysis and machine learning. This has been Neo4j in 100 seconds. Hit the like button for more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.